Hello everybody, we are back here on Prehistoric Hunt and today we're going to continue our hunt for rares and trophies to put in our trophy lodge and speaking of the trophy lodges, there is going to be a pretty massive overall to them very very soon and if you guys want me to cover that and talk about all of the brand new features that are going to be coming to the trophy lodges including the customizability aspects let me know in the comments if I see enough of you commenting that you want to see me do a video covering all of the new changes that are coming then we will end up doing a video on it but I really appreciate everybody that's been watching this series it's been a fun one to do and I've been very surprised at the amount of you that have actually really enjoyed watching this and wanted me to continue it so we are going to continue the series on for as long as you guys will watch it and I think what our goals are gonna be for today is just finding some rares and it looks like we're off to a decent start with what appears to be a rare Brachio, given it's not an albino or a mellow like we're looking for, but it's still a uh, rare skin type, which I believe is pretty much the equivalent of an uncommon in the Hunter Call of the Wild, but let's accept a couple of these real quick, and then take these down right here. And unfortunately, the closer I get, the more I realize, uh, yeah, that was not a rare, so it's just a couple of normal Brachios, but... We'll still get them down. Wow, three shots to the Brachio and it went down. That might be the quickest we have ever took one down with the 700. I was a little bit underwhelmed with this thing's performance, but that actually worked out very well. And that was all lung hits. You know, I'm impressed with that. Let's try to get this one. Little bit farther away. But maybe we can still take it down as it is running towards us. Four hits and it's still not down, so the range is definitely affecting us there, I'd say. We'll see if we can maybe sink one more in. And there it goes, with another one coming towards us. There's just Brachios everywhere. This is full-on Brachio Central at this point. And there's a Giga as well. My gosh, this place is loaded at the moment. Let's try to get them before the Giga does, otherwise we could have a problem here. Ah, speaking of problems, he is actually coming directly towards us, so that's not good. Thankfully we got that before he did. Oh my gosh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. How it didn't die in those four hits from the 700, I may never know, but we did end up getting it for the contract, so that's really all that matters in the end. Let's just claim all of these and uh, move along if we can, as this place is just a predator hotspot. Oh no, there's another. Oh, we're off to quite the start today, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Well, let's get this guy too, I suppose. Just attempt to get away as far as we can. Oh gosh, we're gonna die. There's no way I make it out of this. Or is there? <laughs> oh, what a start to the day. Another gold giga. Well, I'm gonna claim all of these and if it's anything special, you guys will see it. Well, we've got a track dino in this direction and it does seem like it is that Carno over there. Uh, we'll see if maybe we can get a long range hit on him. That could maybe be nice. And just like that, we got him down. It does seem like he is our tracked dino. Let's see. No, he's not. That means it must have been one of the galleys. Or maybe it's still up there. I guess it's up in this direction, but that was crazy the way that Carno just came out of nowhere. Chasing those three galleys. This whole area is just turning into a graveyard. There is dinosaurs everywhere. And I can't say I've ever seen it be this crazy the second I start recording. This has been quite the day already and we're only six minutes into this. Welp, while this galley is in front of us, let's go ahead and take it down. I want to see how the 700 does on them. Yeah, as I expected, it took it down in one hit. 
Uh, at least it can absolutely flatten a Gallimimus. And let's go ahead and check. This was a common medium scale female. Let's fill the contract. Believe we need three more. And then uh, we should be good on that galley contract, but we have another pinpointed dino that is pretty close. It's actually near the supply warehouse, so we're going to head down there and try to take it down. And uh, hope that maybe if we're lucky, it's a rare. Well, let's get it before it gets away. As I do believe that Packy right there was our tracked dino. It was uh, walking in the approximate spot that we were seeing the tracking thing, so... Let's hope that this was the right one, and the 700 is definitely way too large for packies if we're looking to get full uh, integrity, so not really too worried about that at all. Just need to get it for the contract, and yes, yeah, 78% because uh, the 700 is a little bit large for them, but you know, that's 150 credits just like that, so can't pass it up. Is that another packy right there? I think it is. That's definitely another one. Gotta wait for our uh, breath to get back. We'll see if maybe we can get a slightly higher score on this one, as we did take it with the proper gun this time. And it's the silver once again. Yeah, it's kind of what I expected, but I was hoping maybe it'd be bigger. We're currently tracking a Giganotosaurus, and it says that it's right up here. We should be pretty close. We did just hear it roar, which means it should be just past these trees, and we're going to hope that we see it before it sees us, because otherwise things could go quite bad. As we've seen with the 700 and its very slow reload and a slightly less than expected power. But let's do our best to get this thing into our view and try to take it down. Oh no, looks like we got a little bit of uh, an unexpected guest. Let's hope we can take care of it before that Giganotosaurus takes care of us. Oh, gosh. Yes, yeah, it's not going to end well. Take that down. See if we can get sight on the Giga. I don't know where it's going to be. There it is. Get our shots off as quickly as we can and as early as possible. And there we go, we got him down. That was about as good as it could have gone, considering the circumstances and the fact that that Tyranodon just decided to interrupt our little uh, Giganotosaurus hunting party. That went a little bit better than I expected it to, so I will take that and once again just racking up the cash today. Getting so many contracts filled already and we've had so many dinos roll up to us, so hopefully we can get lucky enough to find a rare today. There has been so much action, I would not be surprised if we do end up finding one eventually. Another one! It just doesn't stop today. But hey, at least we managed to get that one down in one hit and avoid uh, any major issues. What have we found here? It looks like we found one of the notes. Okay, so we found Preton 5, build day 43. Building the exterior was again delayed because of material shortage. Headquarters are still prioritizing harbor infrastructure and fence building over everything else. The building schedule will be extended to the wet season. After completion, moisture tests will be crucial. Dinosaur keepers will need to prolong their stay in temporary quarters. Interesting, okay. You know, I'm really interested to see if in the future they will add some more types of structures throughout the map similar to these and Maybe eventually even adding stuff like base building or something along the lines of that I think could be very cool. I'm just hoping that maybe in the future those types of things will be in their uh, roadmap of stuff they'd like to do. As of now, I'm not sure if it's planned or if they're wanting to maybe try it at some point, but I think it could be really awesome for the game. You know, it is just one of those types of days, isn't it? It's just uh, pteranodons left and right trying to swoop me and uh, failing. Oh my gosh, I just can't get away from these things. They're all over. There's two over there. There's one right there. I just can't get away from these pteranodons today. I'm gonna be using all of my ammo on them. But, uh, you know, before we use it all on pteranodons, 
let's use some of it on this uh, Brachial right here, as that does appear to be a rare. And uh, with this distance, maybe we can possibly score diamond on it. Here goes nothing. That is two hits to the lung. That should do quite a bit of damage to it. Maybe we can get one or two more in. One more for good measure. Come on. Let's try it out and see. It's still alive and kicking. Unfortunate. I was hoping it would go down quicker so we could possibly score diamond, but it did end up taking another shot, so probably won't end up being diamond. Even if it had a chance to be, I don't think it'll make it now. Another one. Again, really. They just will not give up today. This is like the fourth or fifth Pteranodon we've had to shoot. And none of them have been good ones either. They've all been just very mediocre Pteranodons. No albinos, no melanistics. Uh, not even a rare from what I remember. Maybe one of them. But uh, if we did get a rare, it wasn't a very high scoring one, sadly. So, yeah, just not a lot of good ones today. But man, they are everywhere. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see. Will this be a diamond brachio? I don't think so. I think we screwed up on the shots. Oh, it is a diamond. Wow. Okay, so it still made it with 90% integrity. Uh, we did get 80% on the shot count bonus, so I think we shot it one too many times. Uh, and yeah, integrity was 90. Weight bonus was 89%. Time to kill 48%. Man, this could have scored so much higher if we had just killed it quicker and still got that range bonus. Man, this could have been something crazy, but instead, it just didn't quite make it. As we are about to get swooped by, once again, another Pteranodon. Will they ever give up on us? I really don't think they will at this point, so let's just try to get it down if we can. Here we go. And just like that, two shots and it's down. Another silver Pteranodon. Man, these Pteranodons are just not being kind today. They're everywhere and they suck as well. Another one. Really? Really? An I don't even know what to say at this point. I mean, if it's, if it's not going to be a diamond, then I don't know what will. We've had so many of them pop up and none of them have scored even close to diamond for these Pteranodons. We hit it once there. Probably not going to get it again, though, so that's unfortunate. But, you know, I'm just happy to see that thing flying away instead of swooping us. You guys may remember that recently we did a video with our very first hunt using the 700 Nitro Express double barrel rifle. And in that video, I had to get a thumbnail for it, obviously, so I decided to jump into a game and get a couple pictures of the 700 while I was editing that video, and of course, you know, the one time that I jump in just to get some screenshots for a thumbnail is the time that we come across our very first albino, and I think without further ado, we've been in this video long enough that I think it's time that we actually show off that gorgeous albino that we finally ended up getting at really the most unexpected time where I wasn't even really planning on hunting and it just happened to be there. So let's take a look at it right now. There is absolutely no way that this is real. That is an albino brachiosaurus. And I actually just jumped on to get a screenshot of the 700 for a thumbnail for a video that I'm posting within the hour. And of course, this is when I find an albino. But honestly, can't complain. This is still incredible. Let's try to get some good shots on it from afar so we can get as many bonuses as possible. I would love to get a legendary rating on this thing if possible, but most likely it'll just be a diamond similar to with that melanistic uh, pteranodon, but I believe we should be able to get a couple shots into it from right here. And hopefully this will end up being a legendary rating. There's two hits. Let's try to get up here and get a couple more into it. And just like that, it's down. Oh my gosh, that is so incredible. We just got ourselves an albino brachiosaurus. Oh my gosh. Look at this beauty. That is a really nice looking model. 
You know, I think the albinos are my favorite of the uh, two major rares, the albino and the melanistic. I definitely like this better. That is honestly just so incredible looking and uh, also apologies if my voice sounds a little bit rough. I just woke up, I went straight to editing, got on to make this thumbnail, and then realized what was in front of me. But that is absolutely crazy. Let's go ahead and claim it. I'm, I'm curious. Is this a legendary? It's diamond, but still, that's good. That's still really, really good. Let's go ahead and taxidermize this thing because that is by far the craziest trophy we've ever killed. That is just truly incredible. Now, let's uh, attempt to get some kind of screenshot over here with it real quickly. That looks crazy seeing it be taken off. It feels so wrong watching it get taken away, though we did tax it, so technically it's it's not getting taken away, but it definitely appears that way with the way they do things in this game. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Wow, I think, is that a rare? It probably isn't, but... Oh my gosh, that came out of nowhere. Gosh, I wish I had been recording when it growled at me because that scared me so bad. I, it just walked up behind these bushes, let out a massive roar. I freaked out and started recording and then, yeah, that unfolded. Man, this, <laughs> what a way to bring it back. But anyway, that was that beautiful albino Brachiosaurus that you guys just saw in that clip. and. Uh, once we get over to this location over here, we will take a look at that thing in the lodge, but I need to get over here to sell all of these uh, dinos first, and then we will jump into the lodge and take a look at our beautiful albino Brachiosaurus, the very first albino that we have been able to get, and it was, in fact, a diamond as well, which is great. Love to see it, a diamond albino Brachio. Hopefully next time we can get one of those to score legendary. And we have made it to the temple ruins. Let's go ahead and cash in all of these dinos and quests that we've completed because we actually got a lot of them done. I mean, look at all of these tasks with the uh, pinpointed dinosaurs and stuff. This is going to be a good amount of money and you love to see it. Let's claim all the rewards. We're currently at 355 and now we are at 1384. We got like a thousand coins off of that. You know, if we just do this once a day, every day, we're going to have that 50 cal within a week, which will be amazing. Oh no. I just realized we can't actually place the entire Brachio in the lodge, it's just the head. I mean, that makes sense, they are pretty big, so I don't know what I expected, but ah oh man, I cannot wait for the uh, more advanced mounting system that's going to come with the lodge overhaul, so hey, hopefully we'll have some better ways to display these in the future, but I, I guess it kind of makes sense why it would just be a head, the lodge isn't, isn't exactly big enough to fit an entire Brachio, so yeah, that was to be expected. But anyway, this is the beautiful albino diamond Brachiosaurus. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't believe we finally found one. Just a little bit disappointed that it can't be mounted on a full body mount. But anyway, let me know if you guys want us to continue this series on Prehistoric Hunt. I've enjoyed this so much. And once again, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me talk about the brand new trophy lodge changes that are going to come to the game that are going to make this the best trophy lodge system of any game in existence. I truly think that this will be the greatest lodge system ever once they finally finish implementing it and fleshing it out and I'm really excited about it so yeah let me know if you guys want to see that and also let me know if you guys want me to continue hunting for all these albinos and melanistics of all the different species and also trying to get some legendary ratings because as of now we have not got one since they've been released the only one we have is one that actually used to be a diamond and then once they added the legendary ranking it somehow upgraded this guy to a legendary but yeah we need to find one in the wild still which would be amazing. But until the next episode, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.